Hi, I'm Lori Duncan, physical therapist in Colorado, and welcome to Blog Talk. This is episode six, and uh, goes with a blog that I wrote about a year ago entitled Muscle Atrophy, Unexplained Body Pain. And since I've written this blog, I have had several people reach out to me. Uh, some I have helped treat, some I have consulted with online, and what I'm realizing is there is a theme. And the theme is, and I write this in the blog, they have literally, literally had every single test you could possibly have. They have had nerve tests, they have had spine tests, they've had MRIs, they have had, you know, EKGs, they have had nerve conduction tests, they have had everything under the sun, and not one person can tell them why they have pain. And I, it just sort of baffles me. And, there, and the answer for that is, go see a pain management doc. Guys, we can do better, right? We can do so much better. So what happens? I mean, atrophy doesn't happen overnight, right? Atrophy happens, and I'm talking about non-use atrophy. There's neurological atrophy if we have a spinal cord injury or something like that or something with the spine. But I'm talking about that non-use. I don't want to use that particular part of my body. And so what happens is it becomes that, that uh, muscle is no longer working against gravity or resistance. And so it becomes this undeveloped muscle. Well, guess what? Our brain is super smart, but also kind of dumb at the same time. And it's gonna say, yeah, but I'm gonna keep moving. So if the muscle is no longer really having enough strength to move the arm or the leg or the foot, guess what starts to take over? Fascia and connective tissue. Don't you love that word, fascia? Connective tissue. It is so painful to move your body from fascia. And I will tell you, the people that come in or the people I consult with that have this unexplained pain, I mean, they've really been cleared for any big medical thing, this is what it is. Something has gone off, cascade of events, and now they are trying to move their body from connective tissue. Ouch, 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 ouch. We know that fascia has a ton of pain receptors in it now. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. And what do I mean when I'm talking about fascia? I'm actually just gonna pull out one of the biggest pieces of fascia is our thoracolumbar fascia, right here, this big diamond shape. But we have fascia and connective tissue throughout the entire body, interweaves, right? So if somebody sometimes will say, like, I just feel like things are twisting, or um, what's another thing people will say, like, it kind of burns. Those are very fascial type qualities. So let me give you a couple of patient examples. My first patient example is the one they actually talked about in the blog. She had tripped over something at work, like a gate, and she had been in the work comp system for over two years, and she finally just settled. Not one person could help her with her pain. She was just like, fine. I mean, she really thought, and she was in a lot of pain, a lot. It was her left hip pain. So she was working with one of my friends. My friend said, you know, just go see what Lori has to say. So I get in there and I'm looking at everything and I go to touch, oh my gosh, I go to touch her left glute and it is exquisite. She was just like, oh! and I'm like, okay. Guys, if something is that exquisite, something is really wrong. And I always tell people, if I can reproduce the pain, gosh, that's a good sign. That's a great sign. Because then you know it is most likely from the musculoskeletal system and that's what physical therapists do and they should be doing. Okay, so I look at it and she has absolutely no glutes. So what is she doing? She's using her connective tissue to try to sit, walk, move her leg up and down the stairs. Once we started working on her glutes, right? Just finding them and activating them. Guys, she's fine. Two years in work comp, two years. Ugh, we can do better people, we can do better. Okay. Then, a new patient that I actually just worked with yesterday, same thing. It has been two years. She has seen five physical therapists before me. 
She is seeing every single doctor under the sun who when they don't have something to maybe do a surgical procedure on or a test comes up negative because everything is negative, right? The only thing they have maybe slightly found is a little slight herniation in her disc. They sent her to a spinal specialist. The spinal specialist said, why did they send you here? I'm not gonna operate there. I'm not, he's like, it's not even injection worthy. Well, good for him for not just doing something on someone. But oh my gosh, you could just tell, like she's tired, she's tired. And all she did was she was in a kickboxing class, kickboxing class, and since then has had this strange pain that nobody can figure out. All right, so we're doing the evaluation and I start looking at some stuff and she kind of keeps talking about this ringing sensation. So now I'm starting to think, you know, what's going on. I mean, we look at hip mobility and we look at um, how her core is engaged, which she uses her quads for her core. Well, that's not great, we have to fix that. But when we went to actually like lift her glute, when I actually could isolate her glute, because she kept pointing to her glute area on her right side. But when I isolated actual activation of her glute, no pain. Well, gosh, if it's not the glute, then what is it? Her connective tissue. Her connective tissue was trying to lift her leg and she probably just pulled a muscle two years ago and unfortunately because of the atrophy in that area of the glutes, right, um, and the dysfunction that was going on in the core, she was pulling on connective tissue or fascia to move her system, which is why she is in chronic pain two years later. Guess what? She's going to be fine. There is nothing wrong, but this is one thing I just hope you know. This is about non-use pain, and what happens is most people get either some sort of compensatory movement, right? The upper trap tries to be the shoulder, the quad tries to be the core, something like that that causes some strange pain, and there's almost always fascia involved. So. If you are getting a diagnosis and people are starting to give up on you, don't give up on yourself. Keep searching. There is help out there. There are, neat, there are thinking people out there and you need to be an advocate for yourself because to just have random pain that does not show up on any blood test, any MRI, any x-ray, it's just not right. All right. Thanks for watching and have a really great day.